What's up, what's up, everybody? It's a cute Copeland today. I want to welcome you guys to the Border Man Transformation. This is the Border Man Transformation, and I'm your host, I'm a cute Copeland. And today, what we're going to be talking about is a few ways you can level yourself up and to become more attractive. You know, a lot of people ask me this question, Q, how can I level myself up and be way more attractive? How can I be that stud? How can I be that guy that stand out? How can I just be that guy, you feel me? That, that guy, when people see you, they like, damn, who is this person, you feel me? Well, the first thing I want to tell you is your drip, your vibe, your energy is so important. When we talk about drip, if you want to stand out in the crowd, you want to, if you go, for example, you about to go to a party or something, first off, my boys, you make sure your drip is different. Make sure your swag is different because it starts a conversation. It starts a conversation when you look different. I remember this time I went to this party and I was wearing this mink coat with different clothes on it type shit. And people just came up to me and they started to, like, yo, where you got that from, yo? It started a conversation. See, if you want to stand out, you have to first start with your appearance and the way you look, bro. You feel me? And that goes with the way you dress. Make sure you put a little different mm, into the way you dress. You can't be dressed like everybody else. If everybody's wearing track suits, you can wear track suits, but add a little jacket on top. Probably a little red jacket, probably blue, whatever the case is. But you have to add a little mm, to your swag. You feel me? But it's only right. It's only right. And those are a few things people don't understand is that for you to stand out, you have to be different. You can't want to fall in line with everybody else. You can't want to wear the same thing everybody else wear because you're not, you're not, nobody's going to see the difference in you. So one way to give a different impression on people and make them think, yo, this guy is different is about the way you look. When you step in the room, do my eyes just look like, do you light up? Do you look different? Do you, people are like, who the hell is this kid? You know what I'm saying? Like, when I step, I want to make sure at all times I step correct. I want to make sure I'm always step correct. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can step correct. The first tip is whatever outfit you have, make sure you add a little accessories to it. You might put a little watch on, you feel me? And I'm going to tell you this. Let me give you a little gem. All you need really is two watches. A gold watch that you can wear when you want to wear like an all black suit or a nice, if you got an all black outfit. Or if you want to wear like a nice suit to look classy, have a little gold watch. Secondly, you want to have an all black watch when you want to be a little sporty. For example, you dressing a little more casual, you're wearing track suit, you're wearing a little, you feel me? The black watch goes with that. So you just want a gold and a black watch and your Gucci. That's just for starters. That's just for the starters. You want to have like a ring. I like, I would say, you know, a few rings if you want to. If you don't want a few rings, I only have like this pinky ring to go with my watch. You know, it's like a little collective. And as well, you can do, add a little chain. You see, I got a little cube, and I got this as a gift from somebody special. Um, and of course, I got my little studs and my earrings in my ear, what's not. But those are things that bring an outfit together. Those are things that, you know, make the little mm to your outfit or to, the, to your swag. You know, if you could wear, you could wear a normal black t-shirt, but if you add a little jewelry to it, it just brings everything together. You stand out more. You just look different from the crowd. We gonna stop because... That right there was my little, you feel me, initiation to the next tip. The next tip is make sure you have a distinctive scent. If you want to really drip and you really want to stand out, my boy, make sure you find a distinctive scent. So when people smell you, the scent is like, it just hits them like, who the hell is this person? And, and it's just a scent that they can't forget. I guarantee you, there's so much times women will tell me, yo, Q, you smell amazing. What is it you're wearing? And, you know, and then sometimes I might see them again and be like, oh, I remember him. He's the guy that smells amazing. He's the guy that... Da, 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 da. They don't even remember me, but they remember the way I smell. And that holds, and that keeps a conversation. That brings a conversation, you know. And they friend like, oh, is there something about smelling good that women love and people just love? Like, and think about it. Have you ever been around somebody that smells good? You just want to be around them to keep smelling how they smell? Trust me, smelling good is, the def is a def definitely one of the most important tips to love yourself and become more attractive. Investing in yourself is investing in your scent, bro. Like, making sure you smell good. And, and smelling good does not just talk about cologne, but as well your hygiene has to, like, brushing your teeth, brushing your tongue. Those are important things. Make sure you're flossing, taking care of that food that's got stuck between your teeth is so important. Taking good showers, scrubbing your skin, Using body wash, 
you know, getting stuff done like that. Those are important things that you need to do. And a lot of you dudes are not lotioning when you finish take a shower. You have to lotion, my brother. Make sure you're lotioning. Make sure you're lotioning. Um, so we talk about drip. We talk about making sure you smell good. Now, last but not least, and I'm gonna say this right now, um, this ties in to everything else. If you want to stand out, you want to be different, you want to level yourself and become more attractive, I would suggest that you start making a little bit of bread. Start making a little bit of money. Start making a little bit of money. Don't got to be a lot, but start making a little bit of money. And this is not just for somebody else or for people to, to like you. It is for your own benefit. If you want to enjoy life and experience life to, the, to a certain amount of extent, you have to have a certain type of money to your disposal. And that's why it's good to have different streams of income. Like right now we speak, right now I'm sitting in my Airbnb. This is a stream of income that I have. You know what I'm saying? So dabble and dabble on different things. You could do Airbnb. You could sell on Shopify. You can do stocks. You can do trading. You can sell courses. Whatever the case is, you can work a nine to five. You could do Uber Eats. You could be working at Lowe's. It don't matter what the case is, but find you, even if you're making $300 a week, just try to get a little bit of money in your pocket and then save. Try to make a little money in your pocket and then save. And I'm going to give you guys a pro tip. I'm going to give you guys a pro tip because in every video I want to give a pro tip. And this video pro tip is learn how to hold a conversation. And with me saying to learn how to hold a conversation, I suggest that you guys start reading more. Reason why you want to read more, you want to listen to more podcasts and stuff like that is because the more you read, the more knowledge you intake, the more you're going to have to talk about. Like the more things you'll be able to talk about. Which is so important. If you don't read every day, if you don't gain knowledge every day, your your attention span and, and being able to hold conversations and talk about different things is gonna be short. But anyways, this is a cute Copeland. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if y'all want more. Leave in a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video and what videos you want me to talk about and drop. So it's the Border Man Challenge, the Border Man Transformation. Check me out on TikTok, Akil Copeland, Instagram, Akil Copeland, Twitter, Akil Copeland. Stay tuned. We out. Bow.